and if you're new here I would love for you to stay in today's video as you can tell by the title I'm gonna be doing a hair tutorial with some new products this video is gonna be sponsored by Alikai Naturals and these are products you can totally find at Walmart really easy to find and affordable they're totally safe to use for my curly queens I am obsessed with my hair so let me show you how I got this beautiful hairstyle this is what the packaging looks like very pretty so here are the products I already used them I already washed for my hair basically I'm gonna be working with a hair grow a deep conditioning mask leave-in conditioner a mousse and last but not least a sleek and shine finishing oil <sighs> it smells like heaven so without further Let's jump right in today's video. So here you guys can see what my hair was looking like before using the products. You guys can see there is some areas where my hair is literally not curling. A little bit crazy, but it is because of the bleach. First of all, I'm going to be working with this hair growth oil. I already use it, that's why you guys can tell it's not like full. So every time I'm gonna wash my hair, what I always do is putting oil in my scalp. And as you guys can tell by the video, I am just placing it right into my roots and then massaging my scalp. And I make sure that I cover all the areas of my scalp. This has like a dropper, if you let me call it like that. And I basically just open it like this and then the oil is gonna come out and after I do that I put my shower cap and then I go to sleep I always do this the night before washing my hair because that way I can let the oil sit an entire night in my hair do whatever it's supposed to do okay it, it is working so next day in the morning the first thing that I did is I just jumped right in the shower and, and as you can tell I'm just washing all of that because remember the same amount of oil that you're putting in your hair you have to take it off with shampoo yesterday I, I did put a lot of oil on my scalp if I do not wash my hair properly and if I don't put enough shampoo girl that hair is gonna stay oily and dirty shower I'm gonna be using this deep conditioner which I loved this is all natural it smells like oh my god it smells so good this is what it looks like the texture let me see if you guys can see it it smells really good I'm not the type of person that likes smelly stuff I don't know if it's because I have some type of allergy but sometimes uh, different smells make me want to throw up this is a little bit strong, but it's kind of like a sense that doesn't bother me. And it's not as strong that it's gonna stay like that in your hair after you apply it. I'm sure after you wash your hair, it's gonna go away. But anyway, it smells amazing. If you don't like scents at all, you'll be fine with this. I promise you. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm applying this mask on my hair. And I'm not detangling, I'm just running my fingers through with the mask dividing my hair in sections overall covering every possible area i can i'm obsessed with the smell and i'm just gonna put on a shower cup and let it sit there for the next 30 minutes 30 minutes to an hour and then i went and and i rinsed all of that deep conditioning out of my hair i made sure i stay longer enough to literally rinse the entire thing because as you can tell this is heavy if this stays in my hair it's gonna be difficult to have any type of volume and as you can tell, my hair is doing pretty good. Moving on, I changed my dress because this is gonna get messy now. I'm gonna be styling my hair with the Alikai Naples Lemongrass Living Conditioner. As you can tell in the video, once I apply it, I'm gonna do it really quick here. This is the consistency. It looks yellow. 
and it smells very strong like lemon. No chemicals. It smells like literally I'm putting fruits on my hair. And now as you guys can see, I am carefully detangling my hair with this leave-in conditioner. The consistency is very thin. Carefully applying the products in my hands and then from my hand just rubbing it into my hair just detangling again careful because you guys know i have bleached hair and bleached hair could be very very delicate like it could literally break i'm making sure that every area that i'm running my brush through has some type of product Fast forward, now that my hair is fully detangled, I'm gonna brush it one more time. And what I do is basically with my own nails, I divide my hair, I split my hair in a half. It's not perfect, but then I kind of fix it. And pay attention because here's where the magic happens. I start taking parts from the back, splitting my hair with my nails just like I did before, applying product one more time in the sectioned hair and I make sure that I don't take too much or too less. If I take too much, I kind of like split it in two and then I work the first half and then the second half later. I make sure that I'm not just grabbing any kind of chunks of hair. I kind of divide them thin slices of hair. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, then I just go and finger coil every single one of those curls, making sure that they stay together and once I'm done, don't forget to scrunch them. And moving on to the next section, we're actually kind of going to repeat the same process. Apply product, use the demon brush to divide evenly your hair. So I don't know how to explain this. Make sure at the end of the hair, you are like twisting the brush with the curls. How beautiful is that? And now just start finger coiling every single one of those little chunks of hair. And just repeat the same process in your entire hair. I know, I know it takes time, I know it is a lot of work, but I promise you it is worth it because after I started finger coiling, my hair was number one, tangling less, number two, I was losing less hair because I wouldn't break my hair when detangling because it's so easy to detangle now, and number three, my hair was staying beautiful the entire week. I can show you pictures if you want of day number six of hair and it still looks good. I know when you're finger coiling, you're compromising like volume, but in my case, I prefer definition. It protects my hair a little bit more just if I finger coil versus if I don't do finger coiling, if that makes sense. Once my hair is finally finger coiled, I'm going to flip all of my hair to the front and I'm going to scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. And I'm gonna go in with the Alikai Naturals Lemongrass Styling Mousse. I'm gonna put some on the ends of my hair. Listen, this is not for my entire hair. This is just for the ends. And then I'm gonna diffuse. This is how we started. This is how we're ending today's video but give me one more second because i forgot one step so this is the next day this is what my hair is looking like it is pretty awesome i even had to do a few things in the morning it is around 7 8 p.m right now the hair is looking phenomenal the curls are defined i see a little bit of frizz in there but you know it is what it is it is looking phenomenal and I'm loving it, but last but not least, I'll be using the Lemon Brass Sleek and Shine Finishing Oil. So I'm gonna spray a little bit in my hands and then I'm gonna scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Run it on top of my hair. Ooh, look at that difference. Okay. I'm gonna put some more because I kind of liked it. Ooh. <laughs> and then I wanna put some more on this side. Ooh. Now I'm gonna scrunch them. I don't feel any cast. Like my hair still feels natural. I feel like these are very, very good products. 
And ta-da! Here is the final look! So this is the final look. I hope you guys loved and enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you're following me in all of my social media and see you on the next one. Bye! Absolutely gorgeous. Love the results. You guys need this product. Go and get them.